Mm -hmm. Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of September 7th through September 13th of 2020. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for the sign of Cancer for the week of September 7th through the 13th? What do we have for the sign of Cancer? Deceit, deceit, somebody dece deceptive, okay? Somebody's not telling the truth. You're dealing with a demon now. I don't know, maybe these can always go vice versa, but there is definitely some sort of deception here. Uh, uh, it may be over money. There could be some money issues here. Somebody's hiding something or stealing. Okay, see the money? You've got to be really careful. Somebody is maybe just after your money. Okay, there's definitely some sort of deception here. So we got somebody that is very devious by the looks of things. They are ruled by greed and you need to be very, very careful. There's definitely some deception. What do we have for Cancer? What do we got for Cancer? September 7th through the 13th of 2020. What do we have for Cancer? One card, please. Stand your ground, Cancer. You are definitely going to need to stand your ground. You are going to need to protect yourself. Okay? You're going to be dealing with some oppositions. Tough. You are in a tough position. It's tough on top. You got somebody who is jealous of you. And I, I know that they are. Deception comes from jealousy. Period. Okay? I don't know who this person is, but you are dealing with some opposition. You got some stiff competition as well. Could be one of your competitors, okay? I think that you are up for a competition with somebody who uh, is out to uh, get bring you down or take your business or uh, what the hell are they trying to do? Take you off of that take you off of the top they're ta they they want to take you down they they want what you have hmm. you're on top right now you are on top you know and somebody doesn't like it okay ooh pineapple reconciliation that just fell out. You may be having a reconciliation with somebody. You know, now that we got this card, I'm just gonna I'm gonna flip this a little bit. We could have somebody here that is very, very stubborn that is deceiving themselves. Because this is somebody that is very much protective and defensive. And you know, you may if you do have your own business, you may feel like, you know, you you just don't have time. You don't have time. You know, anyhow, I don't know who that's for, but I think that you are you are definitely uh you may have some if you this could even be relationship rot wise, you may have some stiff competition with your partner. Just saying. There could be your there's competition that you are unaware of. <laughs> One more card for cancer, please. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. It you ne you notice the second word. 
someone new is entering your life. Well, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Make sure you're open to the possibilities. This is somebody who refuses to budge. You know, a reconciliation could be somebody from a past life. What do we have for cancer? The tower reversed. Nine of swords reversed. And the high priestess. So I feel like as whoever you are dealing with has uh, probably been through a major disruption in their life. Whoever you are dealing with has uh, already broken up or they've had a breakup or they are uh, oh, they're needing to rebuild a foundation. A foundation has collapsed in their life and they need to build it. They're probably looking to build a foundation. I feel as though you are giving deep thought. You're giving deep thought to a relationship. You know, you maybe not trust your gut. You may be feeling... Uh, like you just want to be alone, you know, uh, you may have been, you or this other person may have been through a breakup, you know, and you know, it's time to rebuild a new foundation, but there's a lot of extremely fearful, very, very fearful of building a new foundation. Now the tower reversed is you may have avoided, you may, maybe you've been trying to avoid, you've, you've been protecting yourself. This is protecting yourself. You may have been trying to avoid something, choosing to be alone, you know, working on your spirituality. I feel like, you know, um, you are very spiritual. I think that you are, you have your own little psychic ability going on and I feel like you are distrustful. I feel like you're distrustful. Trustful. I feel like you are uh, maybe and this could definitely could be self deceit or you were because you were probably deceived so badly in the past and that's why you got this big guard up. Anyhow, I think that that, you know, there's a chance to rebuild a foundation or to build a foundation with somebody, but you may be fearful of I, this is extremely fearful of. Of doing that so I feel like this week you're you may be facing an internal disruption that you have been trying to avoid because perhaps this person that is entering your life is somebody that you know you could have a future with but uh, something about this reconciliation card now remember a rec reconciliation could be somebody from a past life but this is a new person Someone new is entering your life, but you may be distrustful. Maybe some of you are hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that broke you. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, this is like, you've been avoiding, and this is challenge. You've been avoiding uh, opening yourself up, maybe hoping for a reconciliation with somebody, which is interesting. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands. Four of Wands reversed. Let me just get the last three cards here. The World reversed. The Lovers reversed. And the Two of Cups. So. Ten of Swords on the bottom and the reversed. So something could be coming back around. Maybe it's something that, you know, coming back that nearly died. Okay, this this may or may or may not survive. That's the overall energy. I think that uh, something could be coming back around. Okay, maybe it near near maybe the connection nearly died with the lovers card. I feel as though whoever you are dealing with um, is ending a cycle in their life. You, this is who you're dealing with, and this person right here um, had unfinished business with somebody. They were stuck in the present. They were flogging a dead horse, but now they've completed that cycle. So whoever you are dealing with was avoiding 
this is who they are. They were avoiding building. They didn't want to build. They they were still uh, holding on to the past, per se. I feel like uh, they weren't ready. They weren't ready. Maybe when you met this person, whoever this person is we're talking about, wasn't ready. They weren't ready to... Uh, give up they weren't ready to give up their 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 past quite yet when you met them um i do feel as though this person is now this whoever this person is they are ending they've they're ending a cycle um they're ready for a change this is a very positive change this person um is it doesn't want to be stuck anymore they've been stuck they're, they don't want to be they're ready they're ready um, I feel as though uh, positive change is coming. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, you could be dealing with a Aquarius, Taurus, or a Leo. Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Leo. I feel as though uh, things have been stagnant. Things have been stagnant. Whoever you've been dealing with may have been lacking goals. They were lacking willpower. They were feeling unsuccessful. They were feeling extremely disruptive on the inside. They hadn't healed. They hadn't healed. And that's why they were so stuck. So, But I do feel like they never expected to have a connection with you. But they do have a connection with you. So I feel like right now you are giving deep thought to having a relationship with this person because of the defensiveness. I feel like your guard is up. You really, really don't trust them. I think you're expecting trouble from them. Whoever you're dealing with may seem a little nutty. Okay, they may seem a little nutty. They may seem a little different. They may feel like they are, you know, they could pop at any moment. And I feel like you sense that. I feel like um, you're afraid. I feel like you are definitely afraid of getting involved with them because you don't want to build up a false foundation. I feel like uh, you have separated from this person or you've separated yourself. You've tried to disconnect from this person just because you don't trust them. You don't trust them. I feel like you're growing weary. I think that, you know, you may have met them uh, not by accident. I think you met them for a reason. I think that they are, they could definitely be part of your future, but there's fear of commitment. And I think the fear of commitment is between the both of you. I think both of you are fearful. You're fearful of getting into, you know, a marriage or another marriage or a commitment and then having it crash and burn. Sometimes it's, it's better to just choose to be alone. And I think that both of you are observing the situation you're both observing you're both analyzing um you're both very very attracted to each other i think this is a you know a real 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 connection but there's a disconnection as well and i think the disconnection probably comes from you because this is your energy i feel like you are like why this isn't you know you may be saying why why you bring me this person now when i'm not ready you know the universe chooses i mean even though you're not ready and things happen when they're supposed to happen i do feel like um you have a connection with somebody that you have been trying to deny. It feels like you've been trying to push this away. You've been trying to deny this connection. Um, I feel like you're in a place of disharmony. You, Cancer, because this is your energy. Could go vice versa, but I feel like it's you. I feel like you're you're feeling in a place of uh, unrest. Okay, I feel like there was a you may have broken up with this person or they broke up with you because of the distrust. There was so much distrust. Um, maybe this person is finally ending a commitment or they're they're maybe they're ending their um uh thoughts that there's going to this is thoughts that there's going to be a reconciliation i feel like either you or whoever it is that you're questioning was hoping for a reconciliation with somebody from their past but i feel like that cycle is over i, I feel like this person is ready to move forward okay i think that we have a karmic cycle that is coming to an end for your person and that frees them up 
perhaps for you. I feel like you could be at the right place at the right time where you you run into this person, you know who this person is already. And I feel like you you've already you've been with this person or you've you've talked with this person even. It feels like you've you've disconnected with you already know this person. I don't think it's a brand new person, but it may be. It could be. I think that I feel like you know this person. I do. Or if not, you're gonna be very you're gonna feel familiar with them like you do know them when you meet them. Okay, I do feel like there's a deep connection, but there's there's fear of commitment here because of the faults foundation in the past i feel like it's something it's almost like you know it didn't survive for before and it didn't survive before because of fear and it was definitely because of fear um perhaps whoever you were dealing with needed an attitude adjustment you know they did. They needed an attitude adjustment. So maybe you separated from them and it gave them the attitude adjustment that they were needing. So I feel like you can expect a run in with this person. And I feel like uh, you've been sensing it. I think that uh, you know that this is a deep connection and you're going to know it immediately if you haven't met this person yet. If it's a brand new person, you're going to feel the uh, familiarity with this person probably instantly. Um, I feel like, uh, who, I feel, I mean, this four of wands reverse is not happy. This is, this is, there's probably going to be, uh, I think it's an unexpected opportunity for a commitment. I think you're totally unexpecting it. I think you're going to run into this person at something, at some, at some uh, get together or it could even be a store. I'm not sure where it's going to be, but you're going to run into this person. It could be at somebody's home. You go to their home, you know, and it just takes you off guard and you start in and, and the feelings just, uh, you could even invite this person or they could invite you. I don't know what is going on, but I see an upcoming commitment for you. Things stepping it up to the next level, even though you may be trying to deny it. Um, I think that you are probably, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, I said Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um... Capricorn. Um, I think that you are going to be put in a tough position when you uh, connect with this person because I think it's going to awaken some sort of feelings that you have been trying to deny. I feel like this week... Um, You're going to run into somebody. I think you're going to run into somebody that you have a connection with. And it's somebody that you have unfinished business with. I feel like it's a soulmate connection. It is. I feel like whoever you were dealing with, this card just flipped, whoever you were dealing with was under a lot of stress. They were under a lot of stress because of somebody that they were probably, or you were, somebody was hoping for a reconciliation, but now they're changing their tune per se. They no longer expect a commitment from that person. They may want you to give them one more chance. Like, or, or vice versa. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I think that it's going to be a playful thing. You guys are going to, you're probably going to play with each other. So Cancer, I feel as though you do have something new coming in. It's very positive. 
whoever this person is, you know that. I know it says a new person, but I feel like you already know this person. But I feel like something bad happened in the past or there was a rejection in the past or somebody didn't put in effort. And, it, and the connection nearly died. And it's almost like you made your bed, now you need to lie in it. There's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? There's been, there was some sort of argument or fight or whatever. But I feel like, or, or, you know. Attitude. Somebody had an attitude. But anyhow, I feel like there's a chance that you can recapture a romance with somebody and have a little bit of fun. And this could definitely lead to a commitment. I think there's there's uh, unexpected and again we have unexpected fortune here something is turning in your favor so you can expect a connection with somebody that uh, you know that you know you know because I know that you know you know you know that this could work this is somebody that you have shared values with This comes after a separation, though, with this lover's card reversed. So anyway, I feel like this is a good week. I think it's positive. I do. I think it's positive. I think there's a union here. There's a union of two hearts. I feel like there's a deep attraction between you and this person. There is, and this is an attraction as well. It's it's like putting two heads together, you know, to connect. This is a real connection. So I feel like you have a real connection that is going to uh, develop. So this week, I think that something that had broken has potential to be fixed. There's deep feelings. There's deep feelings already for this person. And I feel like both of you, when you connect, are going to realize the connection. It's almost like, oh, phew, what a relief. Good luck.